Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video for Windows and this video by the way is good for users of Windows 7, 8.1 and 10. This is a little tool that you can actually use for reliability. Windows 7 introduced this new tool and it's called the Reliability Monitor. It checks your system constantly and when something crashes or if something goes well it actually records the information and will keep track of what's happening in your computer. So if you've got a computer that crashes all the time the reliability monitor might be something you want to check for because it will tell you what crashes in general on a computer. And if your computer goes well you can still check it out but I'll explain to you in a little, uh, just a little later, not to go crazy with error messages in here. So in Windows uh, 8.1 and Windows 10, simply uh, click the search. Windows 8.1, you have the search on the start screen on the upper right. In Windows 10, you've got Cortana. Just type reliability and you'll see view reliability history or it might pop up as reliability monitor. Click on it and here you'll get this little graphic here. You've got, of course, the blue stuff, which is just information about events, about what's happening, but no errors. You've got these little triangles here. That might be a warning about something that went wrong. And you've got the little circles with an X in the middle. And these red circles are actually what's crashing, what's not going well. For example, here on the date that I just clicked, which is uh, 4th of December, you can see that I had Yahoo Mail crash. That I know because the Yahoo Mail app is actually unre unreliable and often crashes and I know that. And Microsoft Edge. But if you notice, I haven't had any Microsoft Edge crashes since. It's a unique item like it could happen in a computer with pretty much any browser anyway that something crashes in the browser. And you got informational events saying that Google updated successfully did the job and note something here it says Google update helper unsuccessful application but just below here Google update helper successful so you got to be careful sometimes it's not an error message but it's more that because of a, f a certain number of factors of things you're doing it just couldn't do that job at that time you know um, a, a, an application might report here that it has a problem uh, updating itself but when you think about it, when it wanted to update itself, you were using it. So basically, you were preventing it from being updated. It's not a real error message. It's just an information that's being sent here, basically. So you got to understand that error messages are not always error messages and that um, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with a computer. You know, here, what I have that crashes the most, and I'm surprised because I didn't check this reliability monitor for a little while and I noticed that what crashes all the time and it shows here is Cortana. Cortana stops working regularly apparently. And if I look at yesterday, I look at the day before Yahoo Mail that I know. Uh, Friday, Yahoo Mail, okay. Cortana, twice. Uh, .NET, runtime optimization service. But there's one thing here. On that .NET runtime, I remember that Friday evening I was installing software that was actually installing or updating .NET framework. So you see this here, the four errors here are not necessarily errors because I know that something was modified with .NET. So it doesn't mean it crashed. It just means it may be stopped so that it could be updated. Uh, stuff like that. You got to be careful with that. It's very important. And one of the most important things that I have to say, because I see it on the channel, people are worried. They tell me, okay, but you know, I went to this reliability monitor and man, everything crashes all the time. The question you need to ask yourself, is your computer completely useless? Is your computer crashing to a point where it's always annoying for you? Or is it just working fine? even though you got little red circles here. If it's working fine for you, if it doesn't do anything wrong for you, don't bother. Don't bother. 
that's the most important thing as a tech guy. Don't try fixing something when it doesn't bother you at all. When you didn't even know. You know, here you'll see something crash and you'll say, oh my God, how do I fix that? Don't think like that. That's the worst thing you can do. Is something wrong with your own computer when you're using it? If you say no, don't mind what's happening here. This tool is when something goes wrong on your computer, when something goes bad on your computer. Then you check here. Then you check what are the errors in the little circles because they might point you into a direction of, you know, this app is crashing all the time. And you can start thinking about it and you say, oh, okay, this crashes all the time. And this app or this program or this, you know, functionality of Windows I use works with that. So don't go over crazy about this, but it's good to know about the reliability monitor in Windows. Another thing that you'll see in the reliability monitor is this little graphic at the top. Notice that it drops, it gets higher, 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 drops. Here it dropped a lot because there's a lot of stuff happening. Then it gets higher, higher, higher. This is the graphical view of the reliability of your computer. It's on a scale of 1 to 10. Technically, a computer that never crashes would be 10. I don't think a, there's a lot of you out there that'll have 10. But you notice that even with a crash, look at here, there's a crash, there's a crash, and there's a crash. And it actually, even with one crash, slowly is moving up, telling you that, you know, one crash didn't bother the reliability overall of the machine. Here it went down because there were several crashes. But like I said, don't go crazy over this. If your computer, what you do, everything's fine and it doesn't give you any error messages. But it's a cool little tool to check for and it's nice to know what's happening on your computer. You know, for example, I'm surprised because I use Cortana a little bit, but I don't use it a lot. But I've never had really problems with Cortana. So I'm kind of surprised when I see, oh, Cortana stopped working. Oh, okay. I never noticed because I probably never used it at that time. Or maybe it's just a temporary crash. Something happened, then it started again. It was working fine. So, uh, you know, don't go crazy. Don't start searching for... Um, you know, fixes for something that doesn't affect your computer or doesn't affect your usage of the computer. So reliability monitor, if you're in Windows 7, it's in the control panel, security and maintenance, reliability. Windows 8.1, you can search for it on the start screen. Windows 10, you can search for it with the search on Cortana. Just type reliability or reliability monitor. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. And you know what? If you enjoy our videos, why not um, give us comments, suggestions? Maybe there's something that you want to see a video about. Let us know. Thank you for watching.